Hi, I'm Roberta DiBiase, the Acting Chief of Infectious Diseases here at Children's National. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the two flu types that are going around this season. It's a little confusing. There is a seasonal strain that we've had every year uh, that you're all familiar with, with fever and cough and some respiratory symptoms. But this year we have another strain going around called H1N1. This is uh, drastically different from the strains we've had before, uh, but it causes very similar symptoms. Luckily, we have a vaccine that's been recommended by the CDC for all children and adults over six months of age. Uh, but the most important thing you can do to prevent uh, getting either of these flu types is to wash your hands, just like mom always told you. So washing your hands, being uh, using what we call good cough etiquette, so covering your cough with either a tissue or coughing into your shoulder if you don't have a tissue available. These are really helpful ways to prevent spreading the flu of either type from you to someone else, and also to avoid getting it yourself. Um, now, if you are un unlucky enough to get the flu, what can you expect? Most people will feel pretty sick for about five to seven days. They may have fever of a varying amounts. Some people have low-grade fever, some have higher fevers. Um, body aches are very common, but respiratory symptoms are really the most common thing we see along with the fever. And that can include all sorts of things like cough, sore throat, uh, nasal congestion, stuffiness, um, we have seen in children, particularly with this novel H1N1, there's been a little bit more vomiting and diarrhea associated with it. So that's also something to expect and to look for. Most cases of flu can be treated very easily um, with just symptomatic therapy, which means staying home, getting good rest, drinking lots of fluids. Um, and most, the vast majority of people will not require treatment with antiviral therapy. There are certain groups that are at higher risk for severe flu, and you can talk with your doctor about if you fit into one of those, if you should seek care for actual antiviral therapy. So what should you look for for severe symptoms in, a, in children? This can include um, more difficulty breathing, um, if their fever went away and now suddenly has returned, or if the fever is becoming higher after four days rather than lower, if they have bluish colored skin, um, if they seem to be dehydrated, and by that we mean if they're not making the usual amount of urine or if they're not making tears when they cry. These are all things that you'd want to seek immediate medical care for. Um, now, what about those underlying conditions that I just alluded to? Um, there's certain groups that we know are just higher risk of uh, potentially having more severe cases of flu and, and possibly even needing hospitalization. So if you fit into one of these groups, it's been determined that uh, you might actually prevent that severity if you take an antiviral therapy, which will stop the influenza from um, replicating in your body. So what are these conditions? Definitely pregnant women. This is a very high risk group um, every year, but particularly for this novel H1N1. Um, there's been a nine times higher incidence of hospitalization for pregnant women. So you definitely want to let your doc know if you have any flu symptoms this year and you're pregnant. Um, secondly, our young children. So under two years of age, this is also a higher risk group, and those children uh, really probably deserve to have antiviral therapy. Again, discuss that with your doctor. And then just like we talk about every year with seasonal flu, anyone with a major chronic underlying medical condition, and there's a long list of these, but these include uh, underlying heart disease, pulmonary diseases, including asthma, um, neuromuscular disorders, uh, people with diabetes, people that are on long-term aspirin therapy, uh, people that are on immunosuppressive either therapy or have immunosuppressive uh, infections such as HIV disease or, or have cancer or are on chem chemotherapy. So for the most, the vast majority of people are going to do just fine with either seasonal influenza or the novel H1N1 influenza this year. You won't require any treatment. Um, you may just need some uh, anti-fever relief using either Tylenol or Advil. We don't want anyone using aspirin, and particularly not um, in our young children. Um, but uh, if you fit into one of those higher risk groups, you really do want to seek out the vaccines that we have available to us. Be real careful and use our cough etiquette and hand hygiene. And then remember um, that you can contact your doctor or anyone at Children's National if you need help. So thanks for visiting childrensnational.org.